everyone, it's Injector Chris here at Lushful Aesthetics. I'm here with my friend Jason, and today we're going to be doing global optimization with Botox. So let's take a closer look at Jason's unique anatomy. So raise your forehead up really strong for me. So, okay, perfect. Relax. So this is the frontalis here, and this is really why Jason wants to start his Botox treatments. He's seeing these static lines that are starting to form here. That's from that really strong pull from the frontalis pulling up. But what he doesn't realize, he pulled it down really hard for me, it has a really strong glabellar complex, consists of the corrugators on the lateral aspect, the procerus down the center. And if you relax for me, he already is starting to get static lines here along his glabellar complex and down to his nasalis on his nose. So gonna be treating the glabellar complex, which is the opposing muscle group that pulls down. Also treating the nasalis, the muscle of the nose, because that contributes a lot to the scrunching. And if you were to knock out this glabellar here without knocking off the nasalis, this muscle is gonna compensate for that movement and create more movement, give you more lines and actually make your nose look wider. I'll do a little bit of treatment towards Jason's auriculus oculi, which is going to prevent him from ever getting crow's feet. Um, just a small dose there, just enough to keep it nice and fresh, but keep his smile very natural. Now, if you raise your forehead up for me a couple times, pull up there, perfect. So he has a little bit of movement over here in his lateral temple. And so just going to treat that a little bit prophylactically, just so this muscle doesn't bulk up on us, because once we start treating the frontalis here, this muscle can start to compensate for that movement. And because he gets these beautiful, nice fades, you can see all that muscle there. So just want to make sure that that muscle is balanced out.